Hello everyone, so I just got back from seeing DC League of Super Pets. This is a brand new film that comes in at just a little more than 90 minutes long. It stars Dwayne Johnson as Crypto, which is Superman's dog. <laughs> of course, we have Kevin Hart as Ace, Gabe McKinnon is in this, John Krasinski as Superman, Diego Luna, Keanu Reeves. It actually has a pretty solid voice cast that's within it. But it was directed by Jared Stern and Sam Levine. So yes, without further ado, let me get into our review for DC League of Super Pets. So this film mainly follows Crypto, Superman's dog, and they are basically inseparable best friends until Superman starts to fall in love with Lois Lane. And he starts to get very jealous of their relationship. He thinks that he's going to be replaced and he starts to get very, very nervous. And he goes about thinking about this whole in the wrong ways and whenever and all of a sudden superman is kidnapped so crypto must go on a journey a rescue mission where he must master his own powers and again realize what he means to the world and to superman in a lot of ways throughout this mission and he does this by teaming up with a group of super pets who they were all shelter animals, but they got powers from a very mysterious source and they have to learn how to master them as well. All while Crypto is trying to teach them and of course teach himself how to be the best super pet that he can possibly be. So the premise of this is pretty simple. It's definitely a movie that's geared way more towards the kids than some animations that come out, which are geared a lot to adults in terms of its story, its messages, things like that. You definitely don't get anything like a Kung Fu Panda or How to Train Your Dragon level, <laughs> like that kind of type of animated movie in this. This one's definitely for the kids. It has the laughs for them, the storytelling for them, something that's very easy to follow. So I found there's quite a few times where I was getting a little bored in this because of just how cliche and of course to how predictable a lot of it was. Not that it was bad in any ways, it was just very easy to tell exactly where the movie was going to go, how the pacing was going to be. Again, not necessarily that it was bad, it was just a very easy movie to watch. And <laughs> when I watch a lot of animated movies, that's kind of what I, again, I hold that standard a little bit and not trying to make it unfair to this because again, it was just a lot more geared towards kids than I thought it was going to be. You definitely don't get a lot of the Justice League and I feel like a lot of people weren't happy with the designs of um, a lot of the Justice League members in this and you don't really get to see them for too too long so I guess that's a bit of a plus but the one thing that I feel like is going to get on a lot of people's nerves is just that issue that <laughs> I've always had where they take um, especially in uh, more animated projects or more kid-friendly projects where you take again some of the greatest heroes in all of comic book or just all fictional <laughs> history and you have them get whooped by their enemies like it's absolutely nothing and then of course too the pets come in and save the day have almost no trouble beating the enemies and things like that there's definitely that kind of like eye rolling thing as an adult where again kids will love it but as the adults you're just like okay but that's not green lantern that's not cyborg <laughs> just all these things that are just so goofy in terms of advancing the plot that don't really make a lot of sense for powers and again heroes of this stature i mean it is funny there's some decent jokes um i've heard a lot of people say that they didn't like the line delivery or the voice acting by Dwayne or kevin hartz or a lot of the other voice actors in this i really didn't have a problem with it there's one part where i thought Dwayne was he was trying to do like a crying parts and the sad bits in the movie and i found that that was a little iffy but honestly the voice acting's fine i mean it's nothing special nothing spectacular really anything to talk about it was just fine it, it works <laughs> you know really this is just a super simple movie super simple plot super simple characters things like that there's not really a whole lot to talk about but i do think it was good for the kids kids will love it again it's just a really fun movie the animation isn't the greatest thing in the world especially when it gets to the fights i found a lot of it was just slow or way too simple um not really again showing off powers of either the characters whether they be the justice league you get the super pets the villains in this you do get some decent dc cameos in this but yeah no it's again it's just nothing really special nothing to talk about as an adult standpoint but for kids it's absolutely fine and with everything taken together that's why i'm gonna have to give it a six out of ten i mean it's okay it's fine <laughs> you know i'd recommend it if you just want to have a fun simple watch or if you have kids this is definitely something to take them to have them watch they'll love it it's easy enough for that but if you've seen dc league of super pets please let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below and of course if you like this review definitely give it a thumbs up and you can check out everything i do on this channel here with playlist down below and i'll link some up top here for convenience sake thank you for subscribing turn that little ringer on so you know when i upload new videos if you want to check out everything you can do live stream and twitch wise link to that in the description of this video and of course my channel bio and on both of those places you'll find a link to the media mountain which is my discord where we talk about movies video games comic books tv pretty much everything that's awesome in this world so you definitely join that amazing community i'll make it even more amazing than this already and yeah just awesome guys
Sky blue eyes I see a world behind them No more time Sinking into the side